finishes. Gravel out to JPR. J Gerald Davis, in fact, with JPR outside him. Gerald Davis still going. Gravel takes it on into the Irish 25. Popner in support. Back it comes. Wonderful ball for Edwards. Couldn't quite gather it at full tilt. But the referee had been looking for advantage. It may well have been obstruction by Ireland. In any case, it's going to be a simple penalty attempt for Phil Bennett. In Phil Bennett, a simple chance for him. On the Irish 25-yard line meant for Keane but over his head Willie Duggan tries to clean it up Wales getting that yard or two surge Maloney has it but loses it again second time he has it trying to elude Windsor and Evans runs into trouble Bobby Windsor feeds to Edwards looking for the gap almost racing through he does he's going to get there Sheer power and strength from Gareth Edwards, shrugging off one tackle, then another, and the acceleration to carry him over the line. Phil Bennett with the conversion attempt. Strokes it. Nine points, now Wales go into the lead. And this was how it came. Bobby Windsor there. Wrestling the ball from the mall, feeds it to Edwards, and just watch how he sighs through the gap. And there's the strength and speed. This is there. JJ Williams and JPR. Cobner in support. Mervyn Davis. The feed out by Cobner. Fed on by Gravel. Bennett with two men outside him. Gerald Davis and Edwards on the wing outside him. There's Gareth Edwards going for the corner. Ken Kennedy with the tackle. Edwards dies for the line. And the Irish defence just holding him at bay. Dummies to Martin. There's Martin. Cuts back inside to set it up again. Oh, this is so exciting. Jeff Wheel. Edwards. Bennett down the line. Berges. Still Berges. Held by McComb. 15 yards out. Edwards. Three men outside. Bennett. Fed on from Cabell to Davis. He's going to score in the corner. The referee has given the try. Gerald Davies, the try scorer. Elation in the Welsh camp. And small wonder, this was how it came. Bennett, the conversion. Is it long enough? Yes, it is. Ireland wheel it this time. Davies holds it, waits, Edwards feeds. Slattery, I think, was penalised then. He hardly looked to be offside, but certainly the penalty stands. So Phil Bennett with the penalty then. He struck that beautifully. And yet again, Ireland, knowing how difficult it is to win at Cardiff, having only won here twice since 1932. Mervyn Davies tries to get the quick pass to Phil Bennett. Bennett, that elusive little run. JJ Williams, a bit of room to move. Windsor in support. Is he going to score like he did against Australia? It could be a try for Faulkner. Ponty pull again, and there'll be joy in the streets of Ponty pool Tony Faulkner doing what Graham Price did in Paris. Who can blame them? And this was how it came. Mervyn Davies, now Phil Bennett, the clever switch. JJ Williams, look at that acceleration. The support from the front row in strength. Windsor like a battering ram. And Tony Faulkner, what a moment for him. 20 yards out from the Irish line, the Windsor throws. Palm by Mervyn Davies, Edwards feeds Bennett. Berges 
Gravel cuts back inside. Bears is in support. Five yards out now. Cobner has it. Feeds to Edwards. Bennett, there could be a try on here. JPR Williams with JJ outside him. Gibson covering. He can't hold him. It's another try. And JJ Williams has got what he deserved. And it's another classic rugby movement from Wales. And Wales' fourth try, which came like this. Cobner involved again. Edwards the feed to Bennett. Williams in the line. Over the head it goes. Gibson covering magnificently, but he can't stop JJ Williams. Maloney and Edwards in a private little tussle. Slattery kicks it forward. Bears just can't hold it. McComb, a chance now for Ireland. Millicom with Gibson. Gibson has McMaster. Gerald Davis countering. Gibson on the run round. Held up by Gerald Davis and JPR Williams. There's no way through this Welsh defence this afternoon. Gibson, unlike him, loosely. Tony Enter having to run. Trying to salvage something. Straight though to JPR Williams. Held by Tom Grace. Fed on to Bennett. Here they go again. Gareth Edwards. He's got Berger's inside. Berger's cutting inside Gibson. Berger's going for the line. Berger's, it is all the way. And that is a new record for an international between Wales and Ireland. 30 points. They have scored. Bez this was how it happened. Bennett, Edwards there in support. Almost perhaps a shade forward, but the referee allowing it to go on. Through one tackle, and the pace Berger's to get there. Smiles, delighted. This is one of the most remarkable internationals anyone can have witnessed at Cardiff Arms Park. Bennett, the conversion. That's through the middle. Just to wrap Salt further into the wound. Could anyone have anticipated a climax by Wales to their international season? One wonders now how they ever lost a game this year. Edwards, reverse pass, straight to Willie Douglas. It's going to be an unopposed try. So there's some consolation in defeat. Willie Duggan at least has salvaged some honour for Ireland. Gareth Edwards, the first to acknowledge it with the tap on Willie Duggan. And this was how it came. Edwards trying, I think, to keep the ball fluid. The reverse pass. Willie Duggan intercepts. And an unopposed run in. Takes it on, still battling to the last. Roger Clegg and Moss Keane try to force it back. And that's it. Wales have won by the unbelievable margin of 32 points to four. They've guaranteed themselves at least a share of the championship title. A remarkable achievement, a magnificent performance in a season when they set out almost as underdogs. They now have a new team, a new captain, a new coach, and what a performance with which to end this championship season.